I'm going to create a simple survey form. I like to know from you all what kind of phone you use. Do you use an Android, an iPhone, or do you maybe use both like me? How many or one, two, or three plus, three or more? And then what actual make and model is your primary phone? I'm gonna make that form right now. Then I'm gonna put the link to it in the chat and ask you all to fill it out. Creating a Google Form step by step. First step I say is to visit Google Drive and open the folder where you want your forms to be stored. Now there are other ways. I mean Google Forms is forms.google.com just like every Google product is product.google.com and that takes you straight to forms. But when you create one it's, to, it's going to go to your drive, but not in any folder. So I really like this method. You visit Google Drive, you make sure you're signed in with your account, you open the folder where you want your form to be stored. Then you click the plus new, meaning I want to make a new thing here in my Google Drive. You choose Google Forms and then new. You give the form a title, you add your questions, you can customize your themes and colors, and then you publish your form and copy the link. I go to my Google Drive and I am already in. This is, I have a folder just for forms, surveys, and polls. I am going to make a simple form. I click on this plus new at the top left and I could make all sorts of things. I'm going to make a form. Yeah, don't click on Google Forms because you want to see what these choices are. You, you just hover over the right hand side. I'm just going to make a blank form right now and create in this shared folder. Yes, that's where I want it stored. So that's where I'm creating it. I give it a title, demo, cell phone survey and you can put anything you want there and you can put a description and it comes up with the first question it's untitled and notice it automatically assumes multiple choice there are lots of other types of questions under here but multiple choice is the most common and here i want to put what kind of phone do you use? Option one, Android. Option two, iPhone. Or option three, both. And I'm done with that question. Now I want to add another one. Well, that's with this toolbar over at the right. I click the plus. My next question is still going to be a multiple choice. How many? mobile devices do you own? And we'll say zero, one, two, and then three or more. And I'm done with that question. Now I just have just one more question. And this is because I want you to, to know that you can write answers in here as well. So add a new question. This one is not multiple choice. It is a short answer. And the question is, what is the make and model of your primary device? And it will have a, a line for you to do the short answer. And that's it. So I just click publish. I say, I'm done. I click publish in the top right. And it says, okay, do you want anyone with the link? to be able to respond. Yes, absolutely. That is what I want. Publish. Now I need to get that link and paste it into the chat here so that you all can click on it and fill it out. So that up at the top right, this, uh, these tools, there's the link button. And I love that it has this shorten the URL because it's, it's just such a long unwieldy one. And then I click copy. Now I can go to our YouTube right here and in the chat, phone survey to fill out. 
and I paste it in. So I want you all to do that. Just click the link and it will open the form. It makes it so easy. You just click on Android, iPhone, or both, 0, 1, 2, or 3, and type in the make and model. Then there's a button to submit. So how do you see these results? Hopefully we have a bunch of responses from the phone survey. Let's go take a look. So I go to my Google Drive and I can just click recent or I can go to my folder where all my forms are. But so here is the demo cell phone survey and I double click. Now this is just letting me see the form that I created. And yes, Bill, good question. Can you edit the form after it's published? Absolutely. So if I wanted to say, what kind of phone do you own rather than use, I could change that right now. And the next person to open this form will get the new, will get the, the new wording. I could also right now put up a, an image and that becomes part of the theme of this form and no saving involved. It's automatically saved. Since I am the owner of the form, I'm looking at the design of the form. I see up here responses. So responses, it says 32 of you have answered this survey. Let's go see what you said. I just click on responses and it's, it starts off giving me a summary. So here we have a pie chart. Out of 32 responses, 53.1 of you said Android, 37% said iPhone, and then 9.4 said both. So that's still almost 50-50 as to people who have both an iPhone and Android, but Android has a little bit of an edge. I'm, I'm slightly surprised. We generally are about 50-50. How many devices do you own? Wow, look at that. It's absolutely equal between one, two, and three or more. Nobody had zero. I, I expected that. What is the make and model? Now here is an area where having the summary isn't all that useful because it's hard to see the make and model. So rather than summary, for this one, I want to look at the question. Question number three. There's question number two. There's question number three, and here are all the responses. So two people said iPhone 14, two said S23 Ultra, etc. I mean, this was just so easy, so easy to get this information. And for me, this is, this is really useful. One other way to see responses is individual, meaning show me each person and what they answered. Now this form did not ask you to put your name or your email or any of that. So I don't know who this is. I just know that one person said both and three or more and iPhone 16. There is one other way and this one is my go-to way of viewing responses and that's called link to sheets. So it will automatically populate a spreadsheet with the information from the respondents. I click on link to sheets. I need to create a new sheet and create. There we go. I have a spreadsheet. Each response has a row and each question has a column. Very, very easy. If I wanted to get a total number of devices, that you all own, I could, I could go to the bottom of this column and I could total it. So, I mean, it is a spreadsheet. 